Of course, the individual that attacked Ms. Grossman this week at Mercer University looks like the poster child for the inherent narcissism of leftist activism. Claiming to be there for the oppressed peoples of Palestine, they totally center their own trans identity, even donning the flag on their back like their freaking badge of honor. It's absolutely absurd. Do they really think that the people of Palestine need some whining, entitled, leftist college student in America to scream on their behalf and interrupt an opportunity for thoughtful free speech? No. This person could have shown up and engaged in Q&A, engaged in debate with Ms. Grossman at an appropriate time in a mature way, but they, of course, also display their emotional immaturity, screaming and yelling and not allowing Ms. Grossman an opportunity to respond. And then at the end, they thought it best to catch an assault charge by shoving her. And of course, the university wants a slap on the wrist for these students and their peers support them and they put a GoFundMe up for their bail money. But no, these people need to be held accountable because we hear all this talk in the news about all these laws that need to be passed to, you know, keep everybody safe and free. But then when somebody interrupts a free speech opportunity on a campus and shoves another individual, they want a slap on the wrist for this person. It's time that leftists are held accountable. It's time they grow up and it's time they realize that their narcissism does more harm than good to all of the causes they claim to support.